dozens of nonprofits are receiving support from the governor's nonprofit assistance fund. He appeared at Owensboro Regional Recovery to make the announcement. We're going to be celebrating the investment of more than $4.6 million into your local nonprofit. And let me tell you something really special about your county. At 66 awards, I don't know of another county that has had as many individual awards, which means you've got so many incredible people leading incredible organizations, serving the lost, the lonely, the left behind, making sure uh, that we can be there for our brothers and sisters in need. What it means is Davis County cares about one another, lives out our faith, and I'm really proud of 66 nonprofits being recognized here today. The funding is from the American Rescue Plan Act. One time direct relief payments are based on each organization's application. You can see a list of the awards at our website, davisky.org. Jeremy Stevens highlights the impact for Habitat for Humanity. Using these funds to do what we do best, we're going to build affordable housing for people in this community. As an organization, we decided instead of one large project, we'd spread it across many so Team Kentucky's impact could be seen across the cityscape. And one of those people who will be blessed most by that is standing next to me, and that is Ms. Tanisha McHenry. Tanisha is currently working in the home ownership program that we have. It is hard work. Don't let anybody tell you. Otherwise, we have to do sweat equity hours. We have to build our homes. We have to get in there. It's hands on. They teach you discipline. They teach you about finances, like things I never thought I would ever know in building a house. Um, and now I get to bless my son with a home, a forever home. Steve Winkler is the director of the Cliff Hagen Boys and Girls Club. We're all in a collaboration working together here in Owensboro to make each and every nonprofit successful. So it's, it is a team effort. It is Team Kentucky. It's Team Davis County. And again, I'm representing the Henderson, Ohio, Butler, and Davis County. Uh, that's where our clubs are located. Leaders say the awards will not only aid in the recovery from lost revenue during the pandemic, but will allow them to improve their services.